Hi everybody, it's the Piggy Hub here and I've got Badger with me today. I thought that I'd do a little video for you on showing how to clean a male guinea pig's grease gland and also how to bathe a guinea pig as well. So if I just turn around Badger for you just a second, you'll see this area around here just above his bum is very dirty. This area is called his grease gland. This is where they scent mark, especially males. I'm not quite sure if females do it, but males especially, because they're quite dominant. They like to leave their scent everywhere. So this is how they make it through this little gland by here. And it does get quite clogged with grease, so you need to clean it. So I do my piggies probably once every one or two months. Oh, he's having a little bit of a squeak now, but as you can see, it is very dirty, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how I clean it. Now, I did take some influences from Piggy Pig Pig. She's done a video like this, where she's cleaning Gus's little grease gland. Um, I use a very similar method to hers, so if you've already watched her video, um, this will probably be very boring, because it's pretty much the same. But for those of you who haven't, I hope you enjoy it. Um... I'm uh, going to give Badger a little bit of a bum bath, so he'll be looking like a new piggy at the end. So, oh, and he's about to run off. You stay here, boy. <laughs> so I'm just going to gather together the products that we're going to need, and then I'll be back in a second. So here are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need a small flannel. You'll see why later. We just pop that down on the sink so the piggy can stand on something and doesn't slip around. You're going to need a towel so you can dry them off after. A pet safe shampoo. So please get one that is pet friendly. Please do not use a usual human shampoo. They're not good for your piggy. They can contain chemicals which are dangerous. So please buy a pet friendly one. So this is guinea pig and rabbit shampoo. And I bought this one from Pets at Home. You're also going to need this by here which is a grease remover gel I'm not exactly sure of the name this is what it looks like it's like a green jelly and um, I will pop the name of it in the description box when I'm finished I think it's called Swarfega I'm not quite sure but I will pop the name into the description box after this removes the grease so this is what we're going to be popping on Badger's grease gland before we shampoo and let's get going So, I'm just going to pop Badger down on the bed now, and we're going to start by applying the gel. So, taking a little fingertip of the jelly, we're going to rub it over his grease gland. So, getting right deep into the gland, and we're really spreading it through the fur. Now, he doesn't really like this. No piggy really likes it. It's having his little bum being touched. So, if we get this over and done with... This isn't the most pleasant experience for guinea pigs, they don't really like water, but it's just hygienic to give them a little bit of a wash every couple of months or so, especially their grease gland, it does need to be clean because it can get clogged and then um, bedding can get stuck in it, hair and hay can get stuck in it and it's just not very pleasant, it's not very hygienic. So. Like us, they need to be cleaned every once in a while. They are normally very clean animals, they do clean themselves, but obviously they can't get all the way round back here to their little grease gland, so we need to help them out a little bit. So, as you can see, I'm just spreading it all through his fur on his back, and really getting into that grease gland. Now, as I said, I'm not very sure about the name of this gel, but I will pop it in the description box at the end. But it is pet safe, it's pet friendly. I have used it before and I know a lot of other people have used it. It's absolutely fine. Just a way of getting rid of deep grease. So it's really good. So there we go, finished. So he's got a very cool looking uh, back end now. A little bit of a mohawk. <laughs> and he's not very happy with me so I'm going to pop him back down. So now we're going to go into the bathroom and going to give him a little bit of a wash, so I'm going to give him a bit of a shampoo and get all of this out. So, see you in a moment. So, here's the sink. I'm just going to start by placing a flannel flat down on the bottom of the sink. This is just so that your guinea pig has a little bit of added grip 
um, because they do get a little bit nervous on the sink surface as they, it's quite slippery and it's just a little bit scary for them. So having something that they can stand on, they just feel a little bit safer. Because start by just running the tap. Try not to run the tap when your guinea pig is in the room because it can be quite loud and it can scare them. So, and a little bit of hot and a little bit of cold. Want to make sure it's a nice and lukewarm temperature, not too hot but not too cold. So we'll turn that cold off a minute. There you go. Now try to make it so it's not too deep, it's just rising above the flannel. That's a nice temperature. A little bit more hot. And that should be fine. There we go, perfect. Going to get the shampoo ready, so I'm just going to pop that up here. And I'm going to go and get Badger. So now I've got Badger and I'm just going to start by placing him into the sink. So just his back feet are in the water. And then I'm going to place my other hand underneath his front legs. So he's got lots of support. So only his back two feet are in the water. And he's having a little bit of a squeak now. As I said, guinea pigs do not really like water. This isn't a pleasant experience for them. So keeping nice and calm, nice, soothing voice. And just keep him nice and relaxed. And just massage the water gently into his bum where that jelly has just been applied. Oh, he's uh, wriggling a tiny bit, but he's been a very, very good piggy. So just massaging the water into his little bum. Oh, I'm, no, I'm sorry, Badge. He's been a very good piggy. So all the time I'm holding him nice and thin, but I'm not being too heavy-handed because I don't want to hurt him, but I'm being nice and thin and controlled so as not to panic him. So there we go. He's still on the flannel, so we should feel nice and safe. He's not slipping around anywhere. And a little bit more. And now if I hold him up, all of the jelly, there you go, sorry, has now been removed. So, I'm going to pop him back in the sink, holding him up, and I'm going to add a little bit of shampoo. So I just place it on there, and then rub it in and massage it in. Oh, very good piggy. All the time, remember to hold them nice and firmly so as not to worry them. So, massaging and lathering in the shampoo. Don't worry, I've got a hold of him, everybody. He, may, he is wriggling a little bit, but I've got complete control over him. So, I'm just lathering in that shampoo into his bum. I'm not giving him a full bath today. As I said, I'm just giving him a little bum bath because he's a little bit dirty down there. But the rest of him is fine. Guinea pigs, very clean animals. They can clean the rest of themselves. It's just their bum area they have a little bit of a problem with. So I'm just massaging it in. There we go. So nice lava. And then placing him back into the sink again on that flannel. And just bringing the water again and massaging it in to the area that we've just applied the shampoo to. Good piggy. Remember, as I said, always pick a pet safe shampoo. Please do not use any products on your guinea pig that you use on yourself. As they may contain chemicals that are unsafe for guinea pigs, it, it might irritate their skin. Just please don't do it. Just pop down to your pet shop, go online. You can get them in most places. I mean, Wilkinson, I'm sure Wilkinson sell them. They sell a bit of everything, don't they? So he's having a little bit of a wriggle now. So I'm just going to lift them up. Give him a little break. I know you've been a very good piggy, aren't you? Pose for the camera. We're nearly done. I'm popping him back in. I'll change hands in a minute. There we go. We're nearly done, piggy. You're being very brave, aren't you? He is an absolute sweetie, is Mr. Badge. So we're nearly done. All the time, keeping him nice and secure, keeping his head out of the water, not allowing his eyes or nose or ears to go underneath the water keeping him nice and upright and he seems he seems to be fine he's not panicking his little heart isn't beating too fast his eyes aren't popping out too much <laughs> he's fine as i said guinea pigs just 
that this isn't nice for them, they don't enjoy it, but it's something that does have to be done. And I think we're done, Mr. Badge. So we're lifting him out of the water. Oh, there we go. We're now going to dry him off and pop him back in the cage. So now I've just popped him into a towel. I'm wrapping him up and I'm just rubbing him dry. So getting the towel and really rubbing into that fur on his back. As you can see, he's lovely and clean now. So if I hold up his, uh, his bottom to you, he's got a lovely clean bottom now. Especially on white piggies, it really shows up when they have a dirty grease gland. So it's really important to clean it. I'm going to have to do the other piggy soon, but Badger's was just looking so dirty. That I just had to clean it. He's been a very brave piggy. So try and dry them to the best of your ability. Don't want to pop them back in the cage if they're all wet. Because they could get a cold or they could get unwell. So you want to make sure that they're nice and dry and warm and they're back to normal temperatures before you pop them back in. And this gives you a time to have a little bit of bonding time with your piggy as well, a little bit of lap time. Give him a bit of a stroke, give him a bit of a cuddle. You could also give him some veggies at this point as well. If he's being a very good piggy like Badger is, I will give him a nice big juicy bit of tomato when we're finished. That's his favourite. <laughs> so I'm giving him a nice dry off. I'm just going to wrap him up now like a little burrito. So here we go. And he's saying, what the heck are you doing then? What are you doing? So I'm wrapping him up nice and tight. And he's all snuggly like a little baby. Oh, you are a cutie, aren't you, Badge? And then I can really dry him off now. So this can take probably, you know, up to about 10, 15 minutes, but you want to make sure that he's nice and dry before you pop him back in his cage as well. Oh, you're going to feel so much better after this, and you're going to look so much better as well. You're going to look clean. Aren't you? So I'm going to continue to dry him. And when he's completely dry, I'll pop him back in his cage. But I won't continue the video, or we'll be here all day. The video will be about 30 minutes long. So I'm going to stop it here. Archie's giving me some piggy kisses, so we can't be hating it that much. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in a moment. So I've dried Badger off to the best of my abilities. So I'm just going to show you a little after shot a moment. Just going to give him a little chin tickle because he's so cute. And you've been such a good piggy, haven't you, Badgie? He is definitely my best model piggy, isn't he? Look at that. Spoilt rotten, aren't you? You cheeky boy. You cheeky, 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 cheeky boy. Anyways, I'm just going to pop him around and then you can see his bum now. As you can see, from the beginning it is a much cleaner, much nicer, a much more appealing bottom. Oh, <laughs> his legs are out. <laughs> But yes, he's been a very good boy. So I'm now going to pop him back into his cage with Gibson. And um, let's see what he does. So I've just popped Badger back in with Gibson. And they're just having a little bit of an explore around their cage. These two are having a little bit of rumbling. You might just hear a bit of rumble strutting. That's Stanley being very naughty. Hello, piggy. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or anything, please get in touch. Thank you, I uh, hope you benefited from this video and uh, you learnt something. And that's about it. So uh, until the next time, from me and all the piggies here at the Piggy Hub, goodbye and thank you.